Okay, here are the things we've restocked on. So literally we ran out of everything. Tea, peppermint tea, sugar, both types of coffee. Yes, we drink instant coffee. We don't have a coffee machine. We have been debating for a long time about whether to get a coffee machine, but I'm quite fussy and <laughs> I'm quite particular about how things look and literally the only one that um, I really like the look of is quite expensive and I don't have enough money to buy that. I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> but the girl that actually lives with us, so we currently have a lodger. This is her one, it's an espresso. But uh, we don't really like the pods and also, I don't love the way it looks, but it's there anyway. These are the, I'll show you. These are what I got from TK Maxx. So I just got another coffee travel cup because again, me and Tom both use them all the time. I got this tiny little Diddy one, which I think is so cute. And that was, Oh, it's not focusing, but it was $7.99. Retail price was $15.99, so yeah, TK Maxx is good. Also, they're a bit wet because my actual water bottle that I was using, I stuck in the bag and it leaked. It didn't leak. I hadn't done the lid up properly. I also got this William Morris design one, which is so... I love it. I love William Morris. And that was $6.99, so again, pretty good value. I don't know. That doesn't say what it was before. And then... I also bought this one. Now, I have to admit, I actually don't 100% love the design, but for labor, because as I said, I'm 35 weeks, so I'm slightly starting to plan. Uh, everyone always goes on about having a bottle with a straw in it. And so this is glass. And I just thought that would be quite good. We're actually planning a home birth. Don't all go crazy over that. <laughs> But we are planning a home birth, so um, yeah, I just thought that would be quite good for the pool, like when I get thirsty. And how much was that? So from eleven ninety nine to six ninety nine. And how much was this coffee cup? This was seven ninety nine as well. So, but yeah, basically everything was pretty much six or seven ninety nine. It's good. It's reduced. So they are the things that I purchased, and this is the inside of the cupboard. So. Um, in fact, let me tell you about that in a second. Okay, so a quick thing about decanting I just wanted to mention because I see this sometimes on Instagram where people are refilling their containers and they literally just put the new stuff on top of the old stuff, which is obviously not what you want to do because you want to use the old stuff first. And I don't know if that's obvious or not, but it's definitely worth telling you so what I do is just get some bowls might seem like a bit of a waste of washing up but I mean literally like I'll just rinse these out afterwards so like the Azera here just empty it and then I'll wash this <clears throat> that is normal Azera I'm gonna put the normal Azera at the back decaf here Because the thing is, if you, you just, yeah, you just don't want to keep putting old stuff on top, um, new stuff on top of old stuff because, I mean, to be fair with us, we go through coffee so quickly, like, it probably wouldn't even matter. The sugar has gone a bit stuck at the bottom, I don't really know why. There we go. And then, oh, there's literally one tea bag. Um, I am not gonna bother putting that in a bowl. We also have some hot chocolate. So I will empty that. Right, so now I'm just going to wash all of these jars. As I said, I actually want to get these labels off. So I would suggest if you didn't want your labels to come off, definitely don't put them in the dishwasher. I'm actually gonna hand wash these, these anyway because my dishwasher does not need to go on and I'm not gonna waste a dishwasher load, round, run, just to wash these. So I'm just gonna do that and um, yeah, just use like obviously just like hot soapy water.
as you can see, I just peeled the old labels off. Okay, so I've just dried those. One thing just to note, make sure you, to be honest, I actually should, probably should have taken these off and washed these separately, but I didn't. But just make sure you actually take these off to dry because they get wet inside and you obviously don't want any wetness dripping in. So they are dry. I've just dried them with the tea towel. But uh, the inside of this cupboard is really gross and I'm pretty sure I didn't actually clean it out that long ago. So I am just gonna use my method kitchen spray i actually think after this i'm going to start making my own kitchen spray with like vinegar white vinegar and whatever else it is i need to check because it's so much cheaper and it's obviously a bit more natural although method is definitely like the most natural that i've come across um and it smells nice too so yeah i'm just going to clean this just give it a little wipe out as well make sure it's not wet I hate these things, these little stoppers. They go yellow and they look gross, but they're not dirty. But I have just seen, what is that? And that won't come off. Oh, it will. Bit of elbow grease. God knows what that is up there. Right, that's better. Okay, cool, so now let's decant. So you want to, oh, that's decaf. That's not decaf. Okay, so you want to put the new stuff in first, as I said. So this is obviously not all going to fit, so we just want to make a small hole. You want to leave enough in the top for the old stuff as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that will all fit. How much is in that? Okay, and then you obviously put the old stuff back in on the top. And then it just means it gets used first. I mean, obviously it might slip down the sides a bit, but who cares, it's gonna get used. Okay, and then for this, I just use these clips. They're really handy for keeping things fresh. So just try and kind of get the air out as much as you can. And then just clip. Like that there we go okay so that is sugar now as i said i obviously made sure that these were completely dry before i put anything in and i'm going to relabel these in a minute but i just need it to stop raining first so i can go to my car and get my label maker out of my work bag <laughs> okay this is definitely decaf I think these will probably both fit in. It's so nice having fresh, oh no, there's not gonna be enough. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna be enough. Okay, right, let me take some of that out. Gosh, that was very bad judgment of me. So how long is this gonna take? So you could use, if you've got one, a funnel, which would actually make this a lot easier. It's gonna be hilarious if I get a comment on here saying that you've just put the Azera in with the decaf Azera. Because <laughs> that is probably something I would do with this baby brain right now. Okay, that is decaf. This is decaf, let's put that on top so we don't get confused while we wait for the label maker. Right, let's not make the same mistake with the normal coffee. <laughs> I have no idea if this is interesting for you guys. I see so many people doing like restock my fridge, restock my cupboards. And people do actually seem to completely love it, but I don't know. I'm sure you'll tell me if you think it's interesting or boring. But to be fair, the other day I had, well, in fact, now I've had two comments saying that you want things to be slow, not on time lapse. But there's no way that I would do everything not on time lapse because the videos would literally be like two hours long. <laughs> and I think the things that I time lapse are very boring. So I don't think that you'd want to see. I'm not sure. I think it was one of the pa um, paperwork ones. And someone said slow clip, please. But I did do a lot of slow clips. Yeah, I just think that sounds so boring. <laughs> 
seeing something that I time lapse in slow motion when I'm literally just doing it in real time. Right, hot chocolate. Obviously, make sure you get the same brand. <laughs> Don't put a different brand in. This is definitely the same brand. This one might go a bit peat tong. Let's see. It would be great if this all fit. Will it? Yeah. Get a spoon, Amy. Don't try and tip it. Don't try and cut corners. <laughs> End up with a hot chocolate catastrophe. Oh, that makes me so happy that it all fits. Honestly, I know it sounds like this is such a like little thing, but I've been meaning to do this for absolutely ages. To like, well, not refill, but but like properly clean them out and relabel them and everything. But it's just been so busy with work. I just it's another thing that I haven't had time to do. Oh yeah, there was another one that I've washed. So this is for tea. I don't drink tea. I think I'm one of the only British people that doesn't drink tea. It's quite funny. Ooh, I've just opened that completely the wrong way. Um, everyone thinks I'm absolutely insane that I don't drink tea. Oh, what's this? This is a different tea bag. These are definitely the ones Tom drinks. So maybe there was a, maybe that's why that one was left. Because there's something weird. All right, how many more can I ram in? Okay. Okay, tea. Right, now we have lots of spare tea. That's good. Don't know what to do with this little guy. Okay, I have got the label maker out of the car. And I've just cleaned and dried that last one for tea. Um, so I'm just going to change the size on this because I think my normal size of 24 might be a bit big. Let me just test that. Also, guys, I know I was going about this label maker. It's so good. Obviously, I use it for work. So I paid about, I don't know, I think it was about £46 or something for this, which might sound a lot, but obviously because I use it for my job, I use it like every single day. So it's obviously worth it and I need it. You don't necessarily need your own label maker or have to spend that amount. But anyway, my point is, it's gone up. I looked online, I found one, and it's gone up to about £98. There was one for 101 I mean, it's ridiculous. It's obviously because they've got popular. So I, I definitely don't recommend you buying these at the moment anyway. <laughs> uh, right. Peppermint tea. Also, I'm so hot. I'm literally boiling. Not even hot today. Right, peppermint tea. I've just spelt decaf with one F. Never mind. I'm not gonna print reprint the label, people can just think I'm dense. Also, I washed up the bottles that I bought from TK Maxx. And the bowls that I used to decant everything. Okay, so let's get these coffees done so that I can stop panicking that I'm putting the wrong thing, the wrong one in the wrong jar. There we go, perfect, now you know. Can you see that, is the lighting any good? They look a bit better than the black ones as well. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like that so I know how high to do them. Okay, this is gonna be peppermint tea. Also, I was so pleased, I got every single one of these things on offer today in Sainsbury's. I did check, I'm such a, I'm so savvy. <laughs> I always check where Azira is on offer because I really dislike having to pay six quid a pot for it. <laughs> and both the decaf and the normal Americano were £3.50 each. So good. The tea was £5 for a massive box instead of, I think, like seven or something, or £6.50, I can't actually remember. And the Twinings peppermint tea was also on offer. So yeah, I was super pleased with that. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could pay for like fancy labels. You can get them on Etsy, there's some really nice ones, but to be honest, for our tea cupboard, I literally don't care. <laughs> I just want people, to, ooh, I just want people to know what it is that they're putting in their cup. And that is about it. But um, I do have fancy labels in my pantry, which I haven't shown you yet, because it's a mess. But when it's not a mess, I will show you. Because actually I'm gonna do, oh God, that one's a bit wonky, that's so annoying. Oh well. Yeah, because I am actually going to do a proper like pantry video 
because I need to sort out some of the storage in there. So I'm gonna show you. Right, one more. I've got so much to do after this. <laughs> I still have work to do and it's five o'clock. And even though I don't get paid for doing YouTube videos, I'm hoping well, once I get to a thousand subscribers, I might actually start be able, being able to get paid a bit, but I obviously don't get paid and it takes a long time to not only film, but also edit and then upload. It literally takes like 45 minutes or something to export and um, upload a video. Did you know that? <laughs> anyway, they are done. Okay, so sorry, the camera battery died. <laughs> very annoyingly and I've just had to wait for it to charge a little bit because I don't have two batteries I should probably invest in another battery but they're so expensive anyway I actually just carried on doing a little bit because I needed to get on with stuff but yes so sorry I've put these away I have put these away already I wanted to talk to you though quickly about decanting and over organizing I have mentioned this briefly on I think it was maybe like the kitchen storage video but Basically, just don't go mad with over organizing things and over decanting. I see it all the time. People get really excited, understandably, because you know it is exciting if you like organization. But what people will do is they'll go and buy tons and tons of jars. You may be, you may have done it yourself, and and just like general containers, and they will literally decant everything into it it's fine and it's actually good to decant things that you use really often i.e this stuff i mean literally we use this stuff every single day apart from the hot chocolate which is only when my stepson comes around but <laughs> it's still used or breakfast cereals or flour and things like that if you love to bake and if you bake often but decanting can cause a lot of waste if you decant too much basically and even worse if you go out to buy extra things to decant just because it looks nice I mean you know a lot of people do have the intention of using everything that they decant and probably not many people will just go and buy a load of stuff just because it looks good but you know but I have to admit some of the things so I haven't actually shown you our pantry yet I will at some point because I actually need to do a video because there's some things I need to do in there in terms of like containers and things but my life last year was very different to what it is now and this almost to be honest this entire year really since about february i have when i say i'm busy it's <laughs> kind of busy on steroids like i literally have had no spare time so i don't get weekends i don't get evenings i i also i'm not saying this to be like oh poor me because i love it like i've been really busy and it's all stuff to do with my business which is exciting but every single spare moment i have i'm working on that so because i'm still obviously working with clients and being pregnant yep <laughs> at 35 weeks still working but in all seriousness every evening and every weekend i literally spend on my business <laughs> so i don't have spare time to bake cook you know have people around and and make nice things because i actually really like cooking when i have time and so the things that i did with my pantry last year well actually not last year but as in up until last year was fine like because pretty much everything is decanted and i would use everything all the time and i am one of those people that has things like nuts and cranberries and all those kind of exciting things in jars and as i said up until basically this year it was fine but this year because it has been so busy and i literally don't have time to do like fun things or bake or whatever i honestly haven't used a lot of the things and it pains me to say because i am an organizer uh that i think probably a few of the things in there are past it probably that actually need sorting out hence i need to do a video in there soon which is probably going to be mightily embarrassing but never mind we all make mistakes well not mistakes because as i said it's a change in circumstance Anyway, I am massively digressing, but basically my point is please don't over decant just because things look good because it's not always practical. The other thing about decanting, which is really important, is you actually have to write dates on them because obviously when something's in a packet, it's got the date on it. But when you decant it into a glass jar or a plastic container, 
there's no dates so you need to make sure unless it's again something like this or cereals that you're using every single day that are literally never going to go past their day you absolutely need to write on a little bit of paper and put it in the jar or like on a peely sticker not a horrible paper one because they're so annoying to get off uh use a hairdryer by the way a little tip to get labels off but yes you have to do that and if you're not that's the thing you have to be really organized to have things looking nice decanted you can't just go out and buy a load of containers decant everything and expect to be organized because it takes a lot of organization and a lot of work to keep up with it especially if you're decanting everything so i just wanted to have that little pep talk with you not to get excited and buy a load of containers and decant everything anyway whilst my battery was charging i took down the containers that were up here which had these things i don't know if you can see that so i've just relabeled them um so this is like smoothie bottles kind of protein shakers which aren't used so much so they can go behind the bar thing and then we have water bottles which are obviously used like literally every single day and that one's too tall <laughs> excellent that's what we like is that gonna fit without the lid i don't know oh just excellent and then we have travel flasks of which there are a few more in the washing dishwasher i think that one's gonna be too tall it's actually better not to have lids on as well because just in case they're still slightly slightly damp so that looks much better now also just want to put these because i think these will actually fit in here now Ooh. so this is my thing of teas because you know going pregnant there's not many exciting things that i can drink so i have a lot of different teas and these ones are so nice one of my friends bought them for me uh i don't know if you can see it but it is twinings bio blends soothing fennel sorry soothing peppermint fennel and spearmint really nice if you like tea okay so that has got rid of that that just goes in there and then we have the lazy susan spinner thing this is an eye design one but you can get them a lot cheaper from places like home bargains they are not see-through though so depends what you want and that just goes there and that's like my tablets vitamins and things and that is all it oh one more thing this is my younger stepdaughters and i found this actually at the back in one of the that middle one and she does not use this anymore she is now nine and i don't think she cares much for frozen anymore so i'm going to declutter this and this little number is remember i told you that tom accidentally broke my favorite glass water bottle the other day this is the lid for it and so there is no point holding on to this because the likelihood of me buying a bottle that fits this lid is very slim so that is going to be decluttered as well it's oh it's plastic and wood annoying um anyway yeah so i hope you enjoyed that very quick video i honestly have no idea if you're going to find this interesting but you know it needed to be done and there's a few tips in there and yeah just a, a little decanting video so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up i genuinely appreciate every single like comment and obviously subscribe if you want to see more from me definitely subscribe i put a new video out every wednesday every week on wednesday and there are going to be some fun vlogs coming up i know that you guys literally loved that wardrobe vlog i did it basically went viral well it did go viral for me i can't believe it it's on like six thousand views it's insane i was like honestly it makes me so happy like when you're a small content creator it's just oh, the best thing ever but yeah so definitely subscribe and um nursery vlog is coming up soon with a an amazing transformation it's completely different i'm so excited and as you know the office is being done we're making a big built-in cabinet for that i explain how to do the how we've like designed it and everything so if you're into storage design and you need tips on that definitely check that one out and then we also have a sitting room vlog coming up too so yes anyway i hope you all have a lovely day or evening and i will see you next week bye